What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame, Bane of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we finished up the sixth drop after finding Miyu Hinasaki and guiding her back to, well, presumably safety, right? And in this episode, we're going to hop into the seventh drop, where we're finally going to be, I guess, in a more dedicated manner, seeking out Hisoka Kurosawa, and hopefully we manage to find her without, you know, the peril that's inevitably going to come with doing so. Uh, as a quick little caveat, it's been a minute since I played. Uh, life got a little bit busy, drove home for Thanksgiving, um, had a lot of work, etc. So it, it's been a, a minute since I've played last, so I might be a little bit rusty, but believe me, I'm excited to play and I'm eager to get back into it. Just might take a little minute to, to de-rust. But anyways, Yuri finds Miyu in the Shrine of the Ephemeral, but not Hisoka. Yuri's final hope is to follow the river upstream from where she found the camera obscura to its source. The Lake of the Departed. And I think we've seen videos of that, right? That's where the, the black water overflows, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll we'll start the episode with this and, and hope for the best. Part of what's also kind of nice. Seventh drop, Maiden of Black Water. Ooh, I love this visual. The Maiden of Black Water is such a cool character design. Um what is also nice is since the last episode, I've upgraded my my display, my setup, and so I'm playing the game in a much more colorful, well, you know, contrasted uh, monitor right now, which is nice. Yuri managed to rescue Miu from the Shrine of the Ephemeral, but obtained no new information about Hisoka. The only clues she has are a photograph found in the Camera Obscura and the vision she saw when she touched Hisoka's charm. These lead Yuri to believe Hisoka is somewhere upstream. Clinging to this last hope of finding her friend, Yuri heads towards the Lake of the Departed, located on Mount Hikami's summit. Whew, this looks so nice. <laughs> it looks so nice on my new display. I know I can't really show you guys. Maybe at some point in the future I'll do some sort of room tour or whatever, but I found Miu, but I've made no progress with finding Hisoka. This is all I have to go on. This photo and the vision I saw when I touched Hisoka's charm. She was standing in water. There's a lake on the summit of Mount Hikami. It's called the Lake of the Departed. Hisoka might be there. Okay. So we can follow her trace. Really quickly though, I want to check all of these little areas to make sure we're not missing out on any items. Doesn't look like over there. So we can run this way. This is how we use our lovely camera. We are set on the Type 14 film. However, we're going to stick with Type 7 now. And I hit, what, R2 to take a picture? Yes. Lovely. And I need to forget, or not forget, rather, <laughs> about the, the healing shot that I can use. Because that was really helpful in the last episode. And I want to make sure that I maintain that habit. Oh, I don't think I actually want to touch this, do I? I was going to say, I'm surprised the game is letting me, but it's only letting me in order to actually just tell me, you don't want to do that, trust me. It's also so interesting because the, the TV I'm playing on now is much larger, and I'm not all that much further back, so it feels like a much bigger experience. It feels like I'm so much closer to Yuri's perspective, and it's kind of difficult to take in everything going on in the environment. So there's some stuff on the left and the right. Which is not too surprising. We fought some ghosts here in the last drop. And now we're going to find some items that will hopefully give us some points. If we manage to, you know, progress throughout the, the drop without having to use many of them. Some herbal medicine, some purifying embers. I hope you guys have been doing well lately. A lot going on in the world. But I hope you guys managed to have an enjoyable Thanksgiving if you celebrated. And... If that meant spending time with family, I hope that was enjoyable. I know family reunions can be very positive experiences for some, but they can also be very nerve-wracking, very tense situations for others. And I hope whatever your situation is, it went swimmingly. Okay, so now we'll head out this way. I saw the icon over here, meaning there's probably something going on. Some film? Ooh, and nice dodge, nice dodge. A little bit rusty, but not that rusty. We got plenty of Type 14 film. The wire fences do not enter. There are stairs beyond it with a door at the bottom. The fence has been securely locked. I can't open it. Okay. 
So I think we've explored all that there is to in this direction. There's a trace, and... Okay, I was gonna say, I would expect it to go down these stairs, but... Oh, and quickly you can see our, our wet meter is increasing. So naturally we're gonna be more vulnerable and take more damage. Hmm. So I guess we'll continue on this trail for the time being. To the Shrine of the Ephemeral. We had quite the experience there. Not everybody at the shrine was too friendly with us. But we did get some really cool moments. Path of the Ephemeral. And again, every single time there's like a rainy scene or whatever, I'm, uh, I'm reminded off, oh, seriously. I, I went to actually use the motion controls instead of the, uh, the camera or the right analog stick, so I missed out on that one, which is a bummer. But I guess it's not the end of the world. Although it is the beginning of the drop, should I just go ahead and restart? No, if I, were, if I weren't playing for YouTube, though, that's totally what I would have done, guys. So we're supposed to go that way, so naturally, as you guys know, we're going to head over this way if the game allows us. He's like, I might have headed to the lake on the Mount, on Mount Kikami Summit. I should go there and check. So yeah. But yeah, if I were playing this game uh, just on my own time, that's a, totally what I would have done. However, that's not our experience right now. So there's a photo of Hisoka. Oh my! What the heck? That was um, a surprise. Okay. Where are we at? So we've got another one of these maidens. We'll walk up close. Get some good damage with that. Did you guys hear the sound effect for the camera? I feel like I didn't hear it. You know? Yeah, I'm not hearing the sound effect for actually taking the, the camera shot, which is a little bit concerning. So we'll take another one up close like this, and it should set us up for a shutter chance, right? So we got a shutter chance mixed with the, uh, the fatal frame there. Did we kill her? No, we did not. We've still got a battle ahead of us. Okay. We'll lock on, and that'll help with trying to stay oriented here. Where'd you go? Over this way? Oh, yeah, very much over this way. So we'll get a little bit of damage here. She actually hasn't gone for many attacks, has she? What's actually really nice is I'm really seeing the benefits of that loading time bonus that we've been getting over and over. You can all, you can just see... Oh, what? Aw, oh, man. Alright, so this is bad. I tried to dodge it. Uh, I know that one of you mentioned in the comments that it's, there are some that are near impossible to actually dodge, unfortunately. So I think we'll have to use rem the, the Purifying Embers right now. Which is a bummer because those do count for a good number of points at the end. But I guess it's not the end of the world. Oh, we don't have the, the easy Shutter Chance either because... We got actually attacked by the thing. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. We got a Fatal Frame. It was like at the last second there. Okay, so she's she's dead. So let's go get this fatal glance. We're right here. We're ready. <laughs> Standing like in the ghost. Okay, a nice fatal glance. Anything over this way? Oh, is this where we're supposed to go? It is. Interesting. But yeah, as I was saying, I'll probably play through this game again. <clears throat> I think it'd be really fun to do so. Um, I know there are some other like costumes, and especially after having played more of the Fatal Frame games, it would probably be fun to come back to, and of course at that time focus on gathering all of the ghosts and you know, trying to complete the game. Again, I, I play games now with the more updated rationale or, or motive of always having fun, right? And so I enjoy completing games, but if I know the completion process is going to be painstaking, I'd rather not. Rope has been strung between two large cedars. Why, yes it has. Okay, it's awfully misty. Oh, hello there. Oh, it's one of these guys. These guys are kind of a pain, aren't they? So we can take a picture, get a little bit of damage. I need to make sure that the, the flame or whatever I, I get rid of, right? Because that was <clears throat> one of the difficulties before, is that I would try to... Oh, dang. So, 
We did not avoid that, effectively, and we are already off to a wonderful start. Okay, so where, where are we at? Alright, successful dodge, I think, I hope. So if we go out this way, we can maybe get a little bit more space to be able to see things a little bit better. And get a nice shutter chance there, which is pretty good. I don't think that'll be enough to knock it out. And also, notably, we do have enough spirit power to actually use our healing shot. So I think that's one thing that I'm going to try and do a little bit more. Can I lock, lock on, on this, please? Alright, I guess not. So we'll use our healing shot there. Make a little bit of progress. Ooh, did we get the fatal frame? No, we didn't, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, it wasn't even a fatal frame. It was actually just a shutter chance. Alright, so where are you? Are you this way? This way? It seems. Alright. Ooh, I almost got it, but not quite. All those fireballs coming at me. There's a good shutter chance. If you ask me, at least. Okay, oh. Perfect. Fatal glance, fatal glance. Run. Wait, did I see an icon? Was one of the torches still lit, maybe? Oh, so this is inside the shrine of the ephemeral. So he took them out, too. Oh, are we in the flames? Yikes. Yikes. That's not great it with a rather unfortunate fate. I also feel like, in general, I'm finally getting a good grasp on the game's intended darkness and visibility. I feel like the first few episodes, I spent quite a bit of time just trying to figure out what was supposed to be really difficult to see and what was actually intended to be seen, but I was missing because my contrast settings were too dark or whatever it might be, you know? This is a fairly unique struggle when it comes to horror games that intentionally try to limit visibility due to, well, wanting to create a more horrific environment, you know, induce that sort of suspense. We've got some sacred water over here. We'll snag that. And be on our way. I forgot there is a map we can use. Granted, it's not incredibly useful at the moment. Ooh, we're totally going to get attacked here, aren't we? What's this on my left? Is this something I can inspect? No? Okay, just some interesting plants. What do we have over here? Oops. Wrong button. Let's dash. Some sacred water. Oh. But we successfully dodged that trap. Lovely, lovely. Now, do we want to go to the right or the left here? Seems like it might not even matter. We just need to make our way over there regardless. Okay. We're making progress. Although, now I'm a little bit concerned about whatever I potentially missed over this way. Alright, naturally we'll head back and explore. I know, I know, you guys wanted to, to progress. But if I, by this point in the Let's Play, you haven't realized that I'm going to explore every nook and cranny I at least notice. I don't know what's going on. I'm not even really seeing much over here. A graveyard stretches out behind the stone wall. I don't think I can get through here. There must be a way I can get around it. Wait, so this is essentially an underwater graveyard? I mean, checks out for Fatal Frame. <laughs> Maiden of Black Water, that is. Alright, we'll see how we can get over there. I feel so bad using the Purifying Embers in these locations. 
because when it's raining and everything like this, you just basically automatically undo it, right? You use it to get rid of the, the taint or whatever, and then immediately after... Oh, this thing is attacking me. Did you get the Fatal Frame? You did, nice. We're getting a good amount of damage in there, aren't we? I don't necessarily want to get a Shutter Chance. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, let's lock in, can we? I'd rather get a Fatal Frame. Aw, oh, man. Because the Shutter Chance is pushing pretty far away. So I'm not sure I want to do that just yet. I want to be able to get the Fatal Blast. And... Nice. I think that was a pretty solid fatal frame. Yeah, and he's toast. So let's run on over. It can be a little bit difficult to get these fatal glances in the water too, so I'm gonna try and be extra careful. Okay, did we get turned around? I think we did. So what's over this way? Is this where we're supposed to go? No. Perfect. What are we gonna find over here? Clearly something, right? It was guarded by a ghost. So there must be something of value. Huh. Looks like a like a bamboo forest? <gasps> these flowers! I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can explain, but why are these flowers always indicated or not indicated, like used in horrific, you know, like eerie environments or like for death? I don't know if you guys have seen Tokyo Ghoul or The Promised Neverland, but it's always these kinds of, of flowers. Red spider lilies bloom to either side of the lantern lined path. Honestly, they're beautiful, but they're always used in these sorts of horror environments. The lantern lined path ends suddenly. I wonder where it used to lead to. Oh, can we not proceed? No, I guess not. Well, I'm sure we'll make our way back here eventually. Either way, I'm glad we explored it. Now it's at least on our map. Okay, so we can head back this way then, and I think go to the right. Explore over here a little bit. I'm still trying to think of, I think we're supposed to go in that graveyard over there. Yeah, so we'll explore over here first. I wonder if there are any sort of places that replicate this type of experience. Ooh, that looks like too much like where we're supposed to go. You know, there are like haunted houses that exist and everything. I wonder if any of them really involve water to the degree that is used in, in something like Fatal Frame. That sounds like it'd be a really neat experience. But I haven't actually found one that incorporates that much water elements. Right? The only one, I mean, recently I did one that was like a... Oh, like, you can get water and, like, fake blood thrown on you if you have this particular wristband, right? Which is obviously not quite the same. So are we supposed to go up these stairs or over that way? Over that way, it seems. So let's explore over here. Let's see what we can find up here. And is this connected? Oh, we're getting attacked by something. Or some things. Don't really know what yet, but... What are you? Oh, is this the really tall woman? Or the really tall lady? It seems like it. It seems like, yeah, this is the really tall lady. Can we get a fatal frame? Aw, oh, man, I was too early. At least we got the dodge, which is nice. Holy cow, she is tall. Alright, let's get this fatal frame. Come on. And... Now. Nice. That was a good one. I got a healing shot in there, too. And with this increased loading time, we're able to get so much damage in. That's so nice. Alright, so I'll, I'll get one like this, too, just because we've got a moment to get a little bit more damage in. Alright, and swipe. Nice. Yeah, and we're slowly but surely healing up a little bit, too, which is nice. All right, let's go get this fatal glance. Oh, what? What the heck just happened? I have no idea what just happened. I was fairly confident that um, 
She was done. Can I get the fatal glance? I guess not. A beautiful cherry blossom tree is in bloom surrounded by small gravestones. People must be buried here. Does somebody mind clarifying that? Is that like a, when you defeat the ghost, there's one last swipe that I just managed to walk into and took a ridiculous amount of damage for? Because that's what I, what it seems like. Now, I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to use an herbal medicine or not. This, this visual effect is really intense. Where are we supposed to go? That way. Huh. But we came from over here. I'll, I'll use the herbal medicine. It's not the end of the world. If I have to use one herbal medicine. But that is a very cool visual effect when you're on low HP. I was like, you know, the next time we get into a battle, I can just be extra intentional about using my healing shot, and that should do the trick. Let's see, can we go over that way? No, it looks like we can't even really... Er, let's see what's over this way. This is that graveyard we were looking at before, right? Yeah. Oh, we got another one of these guys. Let's see, how do I want to orient my, my camera for this? Oh, we got one of those things? I'll just take care of it now. I'd rather not deal with the taint. Did we get it? Oh, shoot, we didn't. I thought I got the fatal frame there. So we got a shutter chance, which is decent. Can I lock on? I can't. Oh, whoa, that was fast. Alright. Where are you going? You're coming at me? Nice. There we got the fatal frame be able to get a lot in here. I got a couple healing shots in there, too. Wow, we're getting a decent amount of uh, spirit power with this, too. I want to be careful about the shutter chances, though. Oops. Ah, oh, I tried to dodge unsuccessfully. Ended up just exiting the camera. But I think that should be the end of him, right? So let's get this fatal glance. This is another, not one of the pillars, I forget what they're called. That's something I need to freshen up on. Maybe I'll take a second in between episodes to read through some of like, the archive stuff we found. What could I check over here? Several paper streamers hang from the rope encircling the grave. Now what was that ghost protecting? There has to be something of value over here, right? I would think so. It's not always a guarantee, obviously, but I would think. I saw some items over on my right, but I'm just kind of curious to explore this little area over here. I don't want to progress too far, though, right? Having a map is really nice, especially in a game like this where a lot of the items, the lore, etc., can be tucked away in corners. That if you miss, I mean, you're missing out on some really neat character development. Oh, shoot. So, did I dodge? No, I didn't, unfortunately. Oh, I missed the fatal frame. Come on. Oops. So, that was obviously not ideal. Oh, we just got submerged. What the heck? So, I'm dodging an attack. I don't know where it's coming from. Let's see here. Alright, let's lock on. We're now kind of um, oriented again. Now we can get a fatal frame. Get a nice, you know, healing shot in there. Some good stuff. Okay, you're on my left now. Yeah. So this is one of those where, again, we're going to want to be pretty careful with not getting a shutter chance. Instead, really aiming for that fatal frame, right? Just because if I if I do that incorrectly, right? She'll end up out in that forest area, which is not ideal. Come on, attack me. Please. Alright. We'll, we'll do that and get some damage. Oh, and of course, now you attack me. That was an interesting shot there. There we go. Okay. 
Let's see if we can make it over to this fatal glance in time. Oh, it seems like we're good. Yikes. It's quite the scream there. So we got some film over here we can collect. We're collecting quite a bit of it too, honestly. How's our health doing at the time? Oops, not that. We're a little over halfway, which is not great, but it's not bad. So I think we've covered this little end here in terms of exploration, right? Or no, I backed up from here. This is where I got ambushed, right? I covered that area, but I hadn't looked over here. Oh, we got a friend here. I mean, I guess I'll take a picture of him. I only saw the, um, the regular, like, circle one. And so I wasn't sure if this was, like, a, a capture ghost or, like, an actual battle ghost. Even though it looks similar, obviously, to the, the previous battle ghost of this type. Darn it. Okay. Let's see. So we are cornered. Which is not great. Alright, there's just such limited time there between the approach and then getting jumped. Interesting, I don't know if you guys are watching the timer, but it only gives me like, you know, half a, a second. Oh, darn it, that's not good. So let's see if we can dodge this. I think we did. I'm gonna run over to this area here, it's a little bit more open. But it gives me half a second to dodge, and then each time I get another hit in there, it'll give me another, um... Oh shoot, did we just take it out? We did. Can we get the Fatal Glance in time? Come on. No, we were not. Darn. Not the end of the world, obviously, but when I get that half second and I get another shot in quickly, it'll replenish that half second, which is really nice. And just kind of extends the duration of the Fatal Frame. Ooh, what's this on my left? Ooh, I almost walked right by this. Oh, what is, but it's not <laughs> attainable from here. Okay, so I gotta wrap around these graves here to get that. Those some embers? Or herbal medicine? Herbal medicine it is. Oh man. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> Got a little too full of myself from these earlier dodges. <laughs> okay, did we explore everything? We didn't really explore this area here, did we? So I'll be wary of that before I really progress things. It may actually just lead into the same sort of clearing that I see ahead of us now. Is this something we can check over here? No. So now that we're in this clearing area, it probably does. If I really had to guess, I would think that we can get over to this area from the right side of the water as well. Actually, it's looking less and less like that's the case. Large Jizo statues line the road. They are deeply weathered, and some are missing their heads. How reassuring. Oh, there's a whole set of items over here, too. I almost completely left behind. Oh, hello, friend. Well, not so friend. Get a little damage there. Where are you going? Why are you all the way over there, man? Why you gotta be like that? got some damage there, but we got the shutter chance, which is good, just to interrupt the, uh, the torch placement, right? Because otherwise, I mean, I don't want to launch them behind the gravestones too much. Just wanted to get rid of that, like, taint curse spirit or whatever. Alright, where are you at? 
right here. Going to the left. And I can see the fire. I can't see you though. It's not all that helpful. Another shutter chance. Oh, it's dead. I did not think it would go down that easily. I wonder if these guys just don't have a lot of health. Is that something? Maybe. Alright, some sacred water. That's nice. Oh, and there's some documents over there. Alright, yeah, so we're definitely going over there. Yeah, and it also confirms that this is not progressing the story, right? There's clearly some little dead end here to explore. So let's head on back over there. I feel like if there were some sort of... You know how like there are occasionally those analyses that are like... Oh, you know, real doctor plays blank. I feel like one of the big points for this game would be hypothermia. <laughs> There's no way Yudi does all this exp exploration in the rain, in the water, at night, up on a mountain. Granted, we don't actually know the date. Or maybe we do. I don't recall what it is. And for all I know, maybe it's 60, 70 degrees or whatever. But in standard conditions, she would be very, very cold right now. <laughs> and this would not be sustainable. Not in those clothes, at least. Maybe if she used purifying embers more liberally than I have her do so, but... Okay. What is this document? Oh, we're getting attacked. By what? I can't even tell yet. Oh, I can kind of tell by the attack pattern, though. Where did the ghost go? Actually, I'm just going to run out this way for the moment. Just kind of draw the ghost out into the open. You know? This reminds me of the general sort of... Aw, oh man. Really? Let me get the thing from the good. Nice. So I'm going to have to be pretty cognizant about using my spirit power for a healing shot. I'll do that now, just to kind of put myself in a better spot. Aw, oh man. I was too early. Got a shutter chance there. Come on. Lock on. Lovely. Are right, you gonna attack me now or what? All right, we got the fatal frame with the uh, healing shot, so we should be able to get a good chunk of damage in here. Yeah, we got a fatal amount of damage in there. Oh, but you might be too far away. Glance. Nice. We're good. I'm trying to remember what I was even talking about before we got interrupted by a certain someone. Oh, I was gonna say choosing my my battleground right choosing the location of the fight has got to be so important in this game right there have been so many times where you've been cornered trapped around certain things and just choosing where you're actually going to engage with enemies oh these aren't documents it's just film it's kind of boring um is, is definitely paying off as you just saw there the battle was significantly more manageable and in real life that's a thing too not that I've ever been in such a situation, but there are studies that show that in encounters with people that attack you or whatever it might be, um, assault you for some reason, if you let them determine the, the next location of the fight, your chances of survival plummet. Meaning, do absolutely everything you can. I have no idea where these guys are at. So I'm gonna do exactly what I'm talking about and choose a different battle location where they can't just hide amongst the, the graves the whole time. That was a good shutter chance. So, for example, if you're, you know, getting attacked and they try to drag you into a car or something like that, or lead you into a particular area, you've got to do everything you can to not end up in wherever they're trying to take you just because your chances of survival after getting taken to that area drop incredibly quickly interesting okay i don't know why that one is not um fading or whatever but that's okay i guess oh i guess he wasn't dead i don't know kind of odd there's a lot going on here though Oh, there are there three of them? What? 
So we'll deal a little bit with that. We got a friend over here too. A little bit of damage. He's having a tough time over there. <laughs> Getting stuck in one of the uh, the gravestones. Okay. We got a lot of friends here. Nice up close shot there. Oh, I guess I walked into something. Oh, that sounds like somebody's dying. Wait, do we... Do we win? <laughs> do we do the thing, guys? I think so. I guess that works. Um, but anyways, without any further interruptions, hopefully, the, the moral of the story is, if you're ever attacked, and the, the conflict evolves in such a way that you are trying to be taken somewhere else, whether that's into a car, a particular alley, a building, a, a room, or whatever it might be, just simply complying with that change of location drastically tanks your chances of surviving the encounter. So even if it seems like you're going to endure some incredible hardship, whether that's some sort of like physical punishment, a beating, or whatever it might be, your chances of survival, even enduring whatever that is, um, are much higher if you just endure that in trying to prevent the location change. Anyways, Hisoka's Journal 2. It appears she came this way after all. Did we find Hisoka's Journal 1? I think so. I'll check after this. Beyond the Forbidden Valley is the sacred ground at the summit, the Twilight Peak, and the Lake of the Departed. If she has the ability, it's possible she was led there. Or perhaps I'm the one who's being called to that place. Ooh, so this is kind of like another one of those, like, Hisoka is obviously very powerful when it comes to shadow reading and experience, but she's still not sure if she's, you know, doing things of her own volition at this time, right? Is she being drawn to this area? And the answer is, it's probably a mix of both, right? Now let's take a look at our records to see if I have Hisoka's journal one. I really hope I do. Okay, I do. Lovely. Alright, and we're at pretty decent health, so we can continue up this way. And it seems... Oh boy! It seems we're at our location. This doesn't look like the most welcoming of places. <laughs> what a creaky door. To the Twilight Peak. Okay. I guess we'll, um... We can proceed and see what's waiting for us there. Apologies for the radiator noises in the background. <laughs> it's the only way I can stay warm here, guys. Bear with me. Okay, so we're at Twilight Peak. That's where we came from, the Forbidden Valley. What are we going to find behind these doors? Is that a little pinwheel? Multiple pinwheels. Interesting. What an interesting environment. So we can either go this way to the left, or we can go up this way to this little shrine area. Let's see where we're being taken. Okay, so we're told to go this way. So naturally we're going to explore over here. However, I think we're going to actually explore this area, this pinwheel, and then eventually follow the contact tracing in the next episode. Wait, what? So we got two there. Running boy and then running girl. I don't want to miss the one on the right, though. Don't miss the one on the right. Come on. Reload time, reload time. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Okay. Well, I got caught off guard by the outro. I'm going to pin it on that one, guys. Sure. That's why I missed it up. <laughs> but yeah, in the next episode, we'll continue exploring Twilight Peak and whatever is held at the shrine up there. It's so interesting, right? Such little colorful things, the red, the yellow, pinwheels, etc. Normally so enlightening associated with, you know, the childishness and um, just kind of like uplifting fun things feel so out of place here and so unsettling, right? It makes me really almost anxious about what to expect up that way. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am, and I hope we actually make some progress in finding Hisoka. Naturally, of course, we're going to run into the Maiden of Blackwater and have quite the showdown, too. So, anyways, until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>